What if the reason why we are born crying is because when we vacated from the other side, we saw our friends boarding Miss Kevin wombs? What if suicide notes are actually love letters to God? After all, we write them with the intention of setting a date with them. I had often wondered what depression felt like or a person would end their own existence. Now I stay away from things that may cause me to be suicidal. Things like knives, razor blades, bathtubs, family and friends. I never felt loneliness until I birthed these thoughts. Now every night it feels like a mother singing a lullaby to a still boy. The silence was my safe place until I started hearing voices in my head whispering secrets on how to end the pain. My depression visits in the form of a friend with a smile telling a silly joke about how you once found me hanging around ropes. Even when they saw me suffering, my friends kept silent. Real friends are good at burying secrets. You saw me dying inside. Yes, we are real friends. We are good at burying each other. Only be afraid when I stop cutting myself. Bleeding is the only way I can show you that I'm still breathing. My mind is a skyscraper I fall from each day. My soul is a student. My body the accommodation. With every breath, I may be thrown out to the street. It is quite scary when asylums have less mortality rates than these learning institutions. Mom, I'd rather live in an asylum. I fear these mental learning institutions. They set the bar high, teach us to reach for the sky, but not to watch our steps on the slippery balconies. Mom, maybe your generation was also depressed, but to them, standing in front of a bullet was easier than falling from a building. Mom, maybe you being a passive voice Mom, maybe you being a passive voice in dead's tongue lashes is the reason why I'm so good at playing dead. No. Mom, you raised me as an open coffin. Why are you so shocked by my ability to carry dead weight? No. Wait, dead's weight is a landslide. He's allergic to all things breathing. Mom, your silence taught me that graves are living human beings buried beneath their fears. Mom, from analyzing your smile, I've come to the conclusion that spider webs are in pain because nothing can hold so many dying things and be okay with it. Those who are silent are too busy trying to cure the endless debates in their heads. Sometimes I feel like a shadow suspended on dust. Sometimes I wish a blade would kiss my neck and free my soul. It is quite unfortunate that I need a metaphor but decaying flowers in order to tell you that I'm literally dying. Yeah. It was not a metaphor when I was on stage peeling my skin, but you didn't care. You were just fascinated by a poet peeling his skin to expose himself to you. Some suicide notes were once a killer performance. Maybe, just maybe, we should change how are you doing to are you still breathing. Yeah.